What's up everyone? So today we have another video for PlayStation Vita and PSTV users. In this video we're going to be talking about the new No NP DRM tool released by The Flow. This is a new method of backing up and running game backups on the Vita. So at first on the Vita there was Vitamin which allowed us to install games as VPK files. Later on we got My Dump tool which improved compatibility and just worked a bit better than Vitamin. And now we have No NP DRM which gives us basically 100% compatibility. So all games that need firmware 3.60 or lower are now supported on the Vita. And it does a whole bunch of other stuff in the background as well, which all together just makes it the latest and greatest tool for backing up and running game backups on our Vita devices. This plugin is also required to run the PKGI tool, which is kind of like a free shop equivalent for the PlayStation Vita. I'm gonna be talking about PKGI in my next upload. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install no NP DRM plugin on your device. So let's get started here now. Okay, so first thing you're gonna to need to do is download the plugin file itself. It's this nonpdrm.skprx file. So hit up the first link in the description and that'll take you to the GitHub download page. Go ahead and download the latest version of the plugin, save it on your computer somewhere. And with that done, we are going to have to transfer it across to the Vita. Okay, so back on the Vita, we need to transfer the file across. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch up Vita shell now. And since I'm on a PSTV, I'm gonna start up the FTP mode by pushing select. You can also just move it by USB or the SD card if you're using SD to Vita. Okay, so you can see I've connected to my Vita via FTP here. Now we need to put this plugin in the tie folder and if you're using SD to Vita, you'll need to come through to UR0. If you're not, head through to UX0. Since I am using SD to Vita, I'll come into UR0. Looking for my tie folder. And this is where I need to transfer the plugin through to. So we've added the plugin successfully. Okay, so now on the Vita, I'm gonna to browse to my URO tie folder where we just placed the plugin. And in here, I'm gonna open up my config.txt because there's a change we need to make. So in this file, underneath the kernel line, we're going to insert one new line below it. So on the new line, we're going to insert. So you need to type this line in as shown here. If you're on SC to Vita, or you can use UXO instead of URO if you're not running SC to Vita. So once you have this line in place, exactly as listed here, go ahead and commit the change. Excellent. Now we'll just save the modifications. And from here, I will reboot the console so that the new plugin is loaded. So that's it, the plugin's now installed. Next thing I'm gonna show is how you can use it to install a game backup. So I'm gonna head through to my memory card. Now basically to install a game, we need to place the contents of the no NP DRM backup into the UX0 app folder. To install DLC, we place it into UXO and then an add cont folder. And then to install updates, we can place those in UXO and then patch and then the game ID in here. So slightly different method for games, DLC and updates, but all three types of content are supported. So I'll just show it working with a game that I've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my device into FTP mode again. And let's switch to the computer. Okay, so I'm connected to my Vita again with FTP on my computer. And you can see in this folder here, I've got a no NP DRM formatted game. It's Arno Surge Plus. So if I open this folder up, in here we can see that app folder. And then in here, this is the actual game folder that needs to go inside the app folder on the Vita. So I'll browse to my UXO, find the app folder, and this is where I'm going to send the actual game folder through to. So we'll just give this a moment here to transfer. Okay, and with that transfer complete, we'll switch back to the Vita. Okay, so once you've finished moving the games, updates, and DLC onto your device, back in Vita Shell, go back to the home menu, push the triangle button, and then choose refresh live area. And it'll go ahead and refresh the home menu. And during this time, it actually adds all the games you've just moved across. So on my Vita, we can see it's added one item. So if I now close Vita Shell, and have a look through, 
and here's the new game on my home menu, Arno Surge Plus. So this was added all thanks to the newest no NPDRM plugin, and if I try to load the game, it'll launch just fine. So as you can see the game loads up just fine like a normal game would and plays perfectly. So I recommend that all of you switch to this method of launching game backups if you haven't already, mainly so that every game is available to you and also because if you want to get the free shop equivalent, the easiest method of installing games directly on your Vita, the next video I upload is going to talk about that and it relies on you having the no NPDRM plugin already installed for that to function so yeah better get started with it today. So I hope this video has helped you out. Stay tuned for more video content very shortly. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Have a good one. Peace.